Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a personal size plan with me for you today. I'm using this fall floral kit from Soda Pop Studio. So for this plan with me, I'm using some inserts from Annie Plants printables on Etsy. This is the, I forget the name, but it basically has a little flap as you can see, which I didn't end up using this week. It has a week on one page horizontal. And then for each day of the week, it has a daily grid page. So on the week on one page, I put all of the big events and deadlines I have for the week. And then each day I'll plan out my to-do list more specifically. This week, however, I didn't have as many assignments due. So I decorated more than I normally would. Usually I'll put pretty specific to-do lists for the various assignments I have. Anyway, this is my school planner. Several of you have requested a school plan with me, so here it is. I use this planner for school-related activities only, so classes, midterms, assignments, deadlines, and I also use it for some extracurricular activities I have, mainly events that have to do with my fraternity. I do also plan daily in this planner. I fill it out as the week progresses. I also bring it with me to school, so if I need to, I can fill things out while I'm at school, and for me, it's the most functional that way. So on Monday and Tuesday, I had some pledge interviews, and then I also had to email academic advising on Tuesday, so that laptop is from Lily Henry. The coffee cup with the pumpkin on it is from the Coffee Monsters Co., Actually, I should start talking about Monday since that's what I'm planning right now. So Monday is Halloween, as you can see. I did use some deco from a leftover kit from Shop Jessica Hart because I had a whole sheet of deco left, so I thought I might as well. I made a few lists for the events and tasks that I had to do for that day. And then I also used a coffee munchkin because I hung out at Starbucks with my little. So as you can see, I did not bind or staple my book together, so all the sheets are still separate. I kind of knew as I was taking the book apart to make it easier for me to plan and write that I would end up planning on the wrong day because if you guys know how books are created, the two pages are not continuous because they wrap around each other, if that makes sense. And you'll see that I did end up planning the wrong day for Wednesday. But let's focus on Tuesday for now. So basically for the entire week, I did kind of a similar structure. I put a header and then I put three dots or however many dots for the appointments that I had or events that had a time with it, if that makes sense. I am really sorry, guys. Not only have I been up all night, I am also not feeling well. I kind of woke up with a little bit of a sore throat and... I have like a headache, so I'm sorry if I don't make sense, but anyway, I did put a today header and then a checklist for the tasks that I had to do that day. That coffee break sticker is from Kina Prince and it's super cute. And then at the bottom, I just put some washi strips as decoration. So moving back to the weekly spread, I'm just filling in more appointments as the week progresses. I had an academic, or I had to stop in academic advising on Wednesday, so I used a sad, I can't remember if that's an emoji munchkin, I mean an emoji head or a munchkin head, so I'm sorry about that, but I also had to bring little, bring little, I also had to bring food for my little because on Wednesdays that's usually what I do, and then I put a sushi sticker from Sincerely Kawaii because that's what I brought her that day. Then on Thursday, I put down a pencil to remind myself that I had enrollment that morning. And I also put a test today sticker from Sweet Quiet Design with a midterm sticker that I made for myself because I had a midterm that day, obviously. The coffee sticker I put down on Friday is from Two Little Bees and that car sticker is from Chrissy and Designs. And then I'm gonna move back over to Wednesday, which I did plan on the wrong day. So after I, I put everything down and realize it, I bring out the undo and take everything up and move it to the right day, which was so stupid of me. Like I should have checked the date, but I guess I just got too carried away with my planning. On Wednesday, I didn't have too much going on. So I layered two full boxes on top of each other. And then again, I did that washi strip thing to separate out my day. I kind of like doing that because like the top part is when I'm at school and then I'll separate out some section 
I mean A section with some washi and then at the bottom it'll be like my list for when I'm home or when it's evening. So as I was putting the book back together after I planned Wednesday, I realized that I planned on the wrong day and I was like, why? And then I show the why munchkins from Once More With Love because that's exactly how I felt. So I just took out the part where I moved everything over. Moving on to Thursday, I put down an important header and then my enrollment time because I needed to sign up for classes for next quarter. I also put a test today sticker, I mean a test sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it's super cute because it has a bow and I love bows. The study sticker I just put down is from a Paperella story. I just made a list of things I wanted to study for my midterm and then I used that studying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. After that, I put a Little Things header with a backpack from Sweet Kawaii Design because I wanted to remember to pack my cheat sheet and some stuff that I wanted to bring to my little after my midterm. After that, I put down a Rip I'm a Goner tombstone sticker from the deco sheet from Shop Jessica Hearts. And I thought it was so funny because of how accurate it was because that midterm was super difficult for me. So at the end of the day, I put a treat yourself sticker that I made for myself along with a pumpkin spice coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I treated myself to some Starbucks after my midterm. Moving on to Friday, I put down a full box with a scallop sticker and the hello sticker because it's Friday. So TGIF, you know, and then Oh, I put down another thing that I had to do for Thursday. That emoji is from Chrissy and Designs. And then moving back over to Friday, I put a DSP sticker that I made for myself because I had some fraternity-related events on that day. And then I also put down a half box for an event that we had for the pledge class. Actually, it was the pledge class that was hosting an event for us, but... Anyway, I put down a washi strip, and then I put down the weekend banner. Oh no, my voice. Sorry about that, my voice kind of just gave out on me, and that sounded really creepy, not gonna lie. But anyway, oh no, not again. Sorry about that again, I just took a sip of water, so hopefully I'll be okay for the rest of the video. So I decided to put down the weekend banner early, like on Friday evening, because I just was spent after that week, and I wanted to spend some time catching up on Chicago Med, which is my favorite TV show at the moment. So I just put that there because I also wanted to use the movie night sticker since it was there. And the thing about using regular kits for a school planner is that I don't use a lot of the icons that come with it, like the trash icon and stuff like that. So I thought that I'd just use icons where I can. So on Saturday and Sunday, I put the continuous washi together because the weekend I was going to be working on my programming assignment and then I also put a scallop for GBM and some coffee stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. Moving on to the full days for Saturday and Sunday. The first thing that I put down on Saturday was a today header with a full box and then I put a laptop sticker from Little Miss Papery with a programming assignment sticker that I made for myself and that emoji, or I think it's called emoji, from Chrissy and Designs. That post-it note is from a little mystery box from Little Miss Papery, and I kind of like to use that for a running to-do list. If I know that I won't finish something in a day, then I can just lift that post-it up and move it to the next day or the following day until I am finished with that assignment. On Sunday, I had some interviews at Starbucks. I put down a full box and then a laptop from Lily Henry with a half box and a hashtag PAs for a day sticker that I made for myself. And then I wanted to remind myself to buy some dessert for the potluck that we were having at GBM that day. And right now I'm just cutting some washi strip randomly. I don't know why I did that. I just did it to kind of make a makeshift full box because I think I ran out. And then I used some balloons and a DSP sticker because we had some exciting stuff happening in GBM that day. And then that's about it. I'm just filling in some spaces with some deco. And then I put my inserts back into my Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy 
Let me just flip through it one more time so you can see what everything turned out looking like. And then let me show you what stickers I have left. So I used up quite a few stickers, so I can use up a lot of stickers in these inserts because each day has a full page. Alright, that's about it for this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I plan in my school planner. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry that I was kind of out of it in this voiceover, but thank you so much for bearing with me, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye!